Welcome everyone. I'm Bonnie Saratori with Spirits Acceleration. And this is the energy reading for March, the frequency of March, what's happening in March. All right, so the first thing I see actually is a quality of what looks like almost like a, an explosion or, you know, like a energy just scattered. I just see fragments of energy, but it also has to do with like uh, a lot of the things that are happening globally, but also all the natural things that are happening. There's still more um, natural disasters, natural thing, things that are happening that, that like, um, you know, like the tornadoes and the earthquakes and um, tsunamis, all the different things that are affecting the planet, you know, there's still more of that happening. And it's creating the, the energy on the planet, especially for humans, people. It's like, there's nothing to grab hold of, there's no stability. And in that explosive kind of energy, I, I literally see like all this debris, all this energy, you know, everywhere over the entire planet. And for people, it has this quality of the, almost like an instability or not really able to just really land deeply and feel like safe and secure. So it has a feel that, you know, a lot of upheaval, upheaval a lot of um, questioning, wondering, um, it's going to feed into people's um, anxieties and fears, worries, concerns, um, you know, like a dire future, that kind of thing. Whoa, what was that? Okay, something else just dropped in. Whoa. All right. Um, even more uh, food issues are going to be presenting in March. <clears throat> um, there's already some places where the grocery stores don't have like full, full, full shelves or different, you know, shopping things don't have like major full shelves. Um, there might be, there'll be a little bit more of that happening. It's not, they're not going to be empty. That's not what's up. But there is a quality where, you know, people are really looking for something good to be happening. They, you know, the hopes of 2023, uh, changing what that all looks like, what it means. And, um, you know, unfortunately, March is just going to be one of those ungrounded kind of months, you know, an ungrounded kind of experience for people. Um, to navigate through these times, I think it's important for people to really understand that there is a much bigger uh, divine orchestration happening. And this is also part of that. I think if people really understand and know that, oh, this is what the awakening looks like. Oh, this is what the shift of the ages looks like. You know, it's like we're, we're ch everything is changing. We are not going back. Anybody who's trying to hold on to going back to way the thing, like way, way life was or the way anything was, nothing is the same. Everything is shifting and changing. And it's going to continue to shift and change. So for some people, we like to feel like grounded. We like to feel that stability. Um, and <clears throat> if we can navigate these times, knowing that there is no stability, it's almost like standing on shaky ground. I can see it. It's, not, it's like people trying to you know, stand on the ground and get stable and, and feel safe. And yet everything's moving and changing and rocking and everyone's affected, not just the United States, but the entire world is affected by what's happening. Again, for people to feel a little bit more stable, you have to be willing to go with the flow, go with what is, go with what is presenting without resisting. It's that resistance to this upheaval that actually causes more dissension in the body. It causes more emotional distress. It causes more anxiety. It can actually cause panic. And if we just keep remembering and reminding ourselves, oh, this is it. This is what this journey looks like. This is the shift that's happening. And it has to be this way, okay? So um, the more that a person can just kind of like, all right, this is what, this is what's up. This is what's happening. I can do this, you know, just write it, write it through 
And if, if, you, if you have a lot of um, feelings coming up, like if you do start to have anxiety or panic or worry and stress, the best thing to do is take a moment and have it. You know what I'm saying? Like really just let yourself, okay, I'm just totally stressed. Let your whole body just be stressed. Just buzz it out. Let it happen. Give it sound. Give it voice. But release the energy. That's what needs to happen. Because when you push a lid on it, hold it down, then you will get even more insecure and unstable. So in order to ride these times, what you really want is you want to be able to all right, this is it. Okay, I'm feeling panic. All right, I'm just going to have it. Oh, I'm feeling anxiety. I'm just going to have it. Oh, I feel stressed. I feel worried. I'm just going to have it. And then the reminding of oneself that, oh, this is the times. I mean, we are here. The, the planet is so full of people right now because these times are so special. They're so huge. It's a major, major shift that's occurring in our, in our, our lifetime right here, right now. And we are all a part of that. So as we understand that we are a part of all of this, we can't stop it or change it, but we are being asked to surrender to it all, take, take the ride with it and open the heart and just say yes, because this is the journey. This is it. So again, March is going to be a little unstable and a little frightening for some people, not everybody, but it will be for some. And it's just part of what's happening, okay? You know, we can't stop or change the big things that are occurring in our world, in our lives, but we can surrender to them, we can accept them, and we can open our hearts to ourselves and to others and to the life that we all have within. So I'm just gonna do a little activation for all of us, for everyone in this time for March. And let's just see if we can't calm things down and re let the body know, let the body remember, oh, this is just part of the flow. This is the divine plan in its unfolding. <clears throat> okay, so just really quickly, I'm going to go into the heart chakra really quickly. I'm just going to go right into the frequency of the heart. I'm going to be activating. I'm going to go right into the seat of the soul, right into that frequency of your own divine light. You, everyone is a divine being. Everyone has a frequency of pure love, of unconditional love and light in the very core of their being. So that's what we really want to get more activation into. So I'm just going to be releasing some of the frequencies in front of that, some of the energy frequencies that are blocking, stopping you from just being in that pure energy frequency of love and light. Just releasing clear, 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 clear. Now I'm just going to bring in the white flame. I'm going to activate the white flame of the Holy Spirit itself, coming right into the frequency of you, right in that seat of the soul, right into the frequency of that pure, pure, pure love and light. Now activating that with the frequency of the white flame, activating, activating, waking, awaken, awaken, amp it up, 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 amp it up. even more. There we go. Light, 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 light. So all your light is just shining, shining, shining out into the world, connected to the truth of who you are, pure love and light at the core. All is well, nothing to worry about. Everything is unfolding perfectly. You can relax in that knowing, softening and relaxing in that knowing. All is well, all is well, all is well. All right, beautiful. All righty then, we'll let that anchor in and just hold on to your hats and enjoy March. <laughs> All right, till next time.